Hi. So we are going to be checking the handle type selection node. So the handle types control the way the curve creates its form. And with the handle type selection node, we can select the control points or even the handles according to the type. So for example, we can hide this to mutate them. And by default, the handle type is automatic. So we can go ahead and change one manually, go into edit mode. And I don't know, uh, changing, for example, this one with the right quick selection to vector and then go back. We can see that now if we select the left, we're going to be able to see that handle. And if we go back to automatic, it's going to disappear because the left handle of that control point is not automatic anymore. But let me just explain to you this setup and show you what else you can do with this node. Okay, so before starting, I would just like to remind you that I have a playlist where I'm adding information about all of the geometry nodes, and the link is in the description. I'll also like to encourage you to like this video and subscribe. So the first thing that we're going to be doing this time is that we're going to be erasing this cube, and we're going to be creating a new circle curve. Now we're going to just go ahead to geometry nodes, and we're going to add a new node. Let's just get closer to this. And uh, we're going to add an instance on points. Perfect. And now in order to be able to see the curve while we see the instance on that curve, we're going to just be adding a joint geometry node. And now we're going to be adding the instance of uh, this instance on points. We're going to go ahead with a mesh primitive and we're going to connect it here. And we're going to scale it down a little bit. So let's just select this, uh, select this four and maybe something like 0.3 it's gonna be enough and now we're gonna be adding a node that we haven't seen but um it's gonna be helping us to make the changes on the handles and that node is the set handle type and we're gonna shift d and that's it that's perfect this node basically just changed the handle type of the left or right side or maybe both if uh, both are selected where we're going to just uh, select one for the left and one for the right. And now we're going to be adding our node, that it's the handle type selection. That is the one that we're caring about today. And we're going to connect this selection to this one. Okay, so here is where the magic happens. If you select left, it's going to be considering only the left handle of each point. And if you select right, it's going to be only considering the right handle of the control point. And if you select them both, it's going to be considering both handles of the control point. So if any of them is the type you're choosing, the selection will be true. Okay. So for example, let's just uh, pretend that we're choosing the free type. There is any handle that has that type. So that's why we can see anything. But if we change here, for example, the left handle to free, it's going to be selected. Now, what happens if we go with the vector type? There is anything. But if we change here to vector, it's going to be selected. And now it's going to be selecting free and vector. If we go to align, it's going to disappear. That's what is going on. If we just go with the right handle, for example, it's going to be uh, giving us nothing because we have three here, but uh, the right handles, all of them are vector. So if we change to vector, it's going to be selecting them back again. That's basically what this does. It just selects the points according to the types of handles that they have. So that'll be basically it for this note. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you like it and I hope it was helpful for you.